Okay, students, today uh, we'll be talking about another geometry which is uh, from triangle. Okay, this is a part of triangle which is very important. As we can see from the question, D is a point on the side of BC of triangle ABC. So we have triangle ABC here, triangle ABC here. It does not state any kind of triangle like equilateral, scalene, or isosceles, but simply a triangle ABC. So the question says that D is a point on the side BC. So here is BC. So D, we will just put D here. So D is a point on the side of BC of triangle ABC such that so the angle ADC is equal to BSC so that means that I have to join A and D <coughs> okay. so <coughs> such that angle ADC ADC this angle is equal to you have to remember this okay angle BSC BAC this whole angle this whole angle is equal to this angle so now we have two triangle okay BAC is equal to ADC this angle and this angle is equal so we have to prove that prove that CA square CA or AC it is the same okay CA square is equal to CB into CD that is CA this is the important part CA square is equal to CB this whole part multiply CD okay that means that this one is the longest okay if we multiply the value of CB and CD it has to be equal to AC square or CA square so we have to prove that okay so how to prove this first of all we have to write the given again given D is a point which is in the equation D is a point on the side BC of triangle ABC such that angle ADC is equal to angle BAC so that is given to proof what we have to prove is CA square is equal to CB into CD so now we have to prove proof okay so we have to use the two triangle okay which is triangle triangle a b c the whole triangle okay it can be stated as b s c as well so it is the same triangle the whole triangle is A, B, C or B, A, C and the next triangle is the new triangle which is A, D, C okay A, D, C so remember that we have to use these two triangles okay so in triangle A, B, C and triangle A, D, C so we have to find two similarities okay first one is the angle a is equal to angle d which is given to us okay that is angle b a c is equal to angle a d c these two are equal so we have angle similarity which is angle b a c is equal to angle a d c which is given to us so we have to find another one okay which is look at these two triangle okay look at these two triangle both the triangle has angle c 
both triangle has angle C okay even though both have a but they are not equal looking at this B a C a is the whole triangle the whole angle but a D C from a D C angle a is only this part the small part okay so angle a and angle a cannot be equal but a b c it has a whole angle c as well as a d c it has a whole angle c so both have angle c which are equal okay there is no other angle c so these two angles are equal so angle c is equal to angle c which is common so we have two similarity that is why therefore triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADC AA similarity similarity okay using these two if, if we have two angles similar in two triangles we can state that those two triangles are similar okay as you already know that similar is different from congruence congruence means it is exactly the same but similar similar means they are like uh, if abc is a equilateral triangle adc is also a equilateral triangle but one is bigger and one is smaller okay it is not exactly the same but if it is congruence if one triangle is equilateral triangle the other is also equilateral triangle and it is exactly the same size okay so now we know that it is not the same size but it is the same triangle so if it is similar then we can state that AC by DC okay we can take this to AC by DC AC that is AC by DC so if I take AC by DC okay look at this this angle angle opposite to the, the side opposite to the angle is AC so here this is the angle okay angle D and angle A is the is equal so angle opposite to this one is BC I have to take BC BC by then I have uh, taken AC by DC the base okay so if I take BC here the base is AC BC by AC so if I cross multiply these two AC into AC is AC square then DC into BC is BC into DC so if I change this to AC is CA square BC is CB and DC is CD so we have proof that hence CA square is equal to CB into CD okay it is simple as that very very simple but you have to know how to take the similarity and all okay you have to be completely clear with it so solve it for around at least five times Try to understand it, try to do it without looking, and then you can send me your book.